When you open the app, you get this screen and you've got three options. Let's take a look first at the rules. We design the rules for rhetoric to be as simple and clean as possible. We do not like games where you have to spend hours just trying to figure out how to play. So going through the rules, it explains what you do on every square that you land on. The rules are not very complicated. It'll take you five to 10 minutes maximum to go through them. There are explanations for how the game ends, how to play competitively if you want, and different variations that you can play. Let's take a look at the About button. Here, you get a little bit of history about rhetoric, how we created the game. You get to see a picture of our smiling faces. You have links to each of our websites and an explanation of how you can order the physical version of the game. And finally, a little description of the great people who helped us develop this app. But let's take a look at play. First thing you're going to want to do is choose your language. That's right, you can play rhetoric in different languages, currently five. For example, let's take a look at German. And if you play in German, then of course everything, the rules, the about screen, they are all in German. We go back, let's take a look at Spanish. Again, everything switches to Spanish. There's also French and Catalan. So you can play rhetoric in five different languages now, but more are gonna be added in the future, so stay tuned. So let's go back to English. You choose whether you want the speeches to be one or two minutes for the timer, and you choose whether you want to play competitively or just for fun. But now let's add some players so you can see how the game is played. You can add your name to any color you like. You don't have to go in order. So we have Bill, we have Amy. Let's jump down, let's say Maria. And we'll add one more. Let's pick green and we'll go for Robert. So we have our four players. When you're ready, you hit the green check mark and it takes you to the board. Amy's up, she rolls the die, and she's got a six. So Amy's landed on topic. She taps the card, picks a card. Sports, that is her topic. She hits the green check mark, and now she has to choose one of these six fields. She either has to tell a story, evoke the senses, use humor, use a quote. And if at any time you're not sure what you have to do, you hit the question mark at the top of the screen, it takes you to the part of the rules where you are. So it's very quick. It's a very quick way of finding out what you have to do. We go back and Amy's decided to tell a story. So she's gonna tell a story about sports. When she's ready, someone hits the timer and Amy begins talking. The timer counts down, in this case, from a minute. And we just have to wait until it reaches 45 seconds before we can go to the next screen. But in a game, you would go down to zero at least. Now the other players get to rate the speech. Robert gives her a four. Bill loved it, he gives her a five. Maria, uh, she wasn't too impressed, she gave it a one. Now it's Maria's turn. And of course, when you rate, you can do this confidential, confidentially. Nobody has to see the score you give. So here we have Maria who's landed on yellow, which is question. The players can ask Maria any question they like. Maria then has to spin this wheel, this wheel of structure. And she's got one, two, three. Again, if we're not sure, you go to the rules. And in the rules, there's an example. For exa and the example is, what do you like about New York City? It gives you examples of how you would respond to that question with each of the different structures. When she's ready, the timer starts, and Maria gives her talk. We wait till 45, okay, we can now advance to the next screen. The other players rate the speech. And it's Bill's turn. Bill has rolled a three. He's landed on challenge. So Bill picks the card, he has to respond to the challenge, which is, tell a famous fairy tale starting at the end and working backwards. Not easy, but that's what he's got to do. And that's why we call them challenge cards. 
So the timer starts and Bill gives his speech. By the way, there are 50 challenge cards and 50 topic cards. We are also working on different theme packs of cards which will be added to the app in the future. The first one is going to be the family edition, so stay tuned. The other players rate the speech. And you see Robert, he's not sure what he's going to do, so you can think about it, change your, your rating, but once you hit the green check mark, then it's final. So now it's Robert's turn. He's got topic. Courage is his topic. He's going to think about it, and Robert chooses call to action. And by the way, should Robert land on topic again in the future, call to action will be grayed out. He will have to do one of the other, uh, one of the other things. In this way, players are forced to expand the different things they try when speaking. Again, the other players rate Robert's speech. And that is a quick overview of the game. If you ever want to quit the game, you can exit. It'll ask you if you want to end. If no, you come back. And if yes, you hit the check mark and you come back to the main screen.